everybody! It's your good pal Thorn here. How y'all doing today? It is, well, it's cold, but it is, you know, it is the middle of November. We did get our first snow, which was late, and uh, good buddy Thorn was out in it. Um, <laughs> it's also deer season, so we were out playing in the snow. Yeah, it was good times, good times. Um, I know what you're saying. You're saying, Thorn, what the hell? Where's the beard? Um, well, long story short, my girlfriend said shave it, so I did. <clears throat> Don't worry, I'm going to grow it back. It was for a special occasion. I had to look, you know, nice. But anyway, so what are we going to talk about today? What are we going to talk about today? We've talked about all kinds of stuff in the last couple of weeks and you know something we haven't really touched on we really haven't touched on costuming and, it, and it's a hated word on that i know i know that people are frustrated with costuming a lot of people don't know how to do it and then a lot of people are intimidated by doing it um and it, it's really not hard it, it, it's if you stick with the basic stuff it's just like it's just like dressing for everyday life. If you stick with the basics, you're going to look okay. If you want to go a little flair and put on a little bling, that's cool too. But sticking with something basic will probably get you through 90% of what you want to do in, in, in LARPing and 90% and of what you want to do in life. Uh, your good buddy Thorne, when he's not working, is in... A, blue jeans, boots, and usually a t-shirt. Um, when it's cold, I wear a hoodie or I wear a sweater jacket. Uh, that's because Thorne likes to be outside. He likes to ride his Harley. Um, and when I got to go to church, like the other day when I had to shave my beard off, you know, I do, I do put on the suit. I put on the suit. I put on the tie. I suit up, as Barney says. You dress for the conditions you need. So that's what we're going to talk about tonight, uh, just for a little bit, you know. So really, your basics we're going to talk about, your basic clothing. Like I've told you before, Thorne's a very simple man. So what do you need for your basics? You need shoes on your feet, protect your feet. You need a pair of pants or something to cover your legs, and you need a shirt or something to cover the top. Those are the three things that you really need. Three, three things. So, and it's really not that hard if you stick with basics, right? So the first thing that you should have in your on, in your LARP toolkit, if you are a fantasy LARPer, is probably a black pair of generic pants. Now we're not talking jeans and we're not talking dress pants, um, but they could be like surgical draw pants. Uh, I see a lot of people wearing those. You can get them fairly cheap. Um, most of your decent uh, reenacting and or LARP companies put out a pant of some kind. Um, and it's usually very simple, usually around 35 to $45. I would stick with something that's black. Why? Why black? Not because you're an evil person. No. Because black goes with everything. You can coordinate with it and it looks okay. Once you get your basic down, then you can kind of branch out. It's like the little black dress of LARPing. Okay? Black pair of pants. Now, a lot of people when they first start, they're going to start and do NPC or non-player character. You buy yourself a black pair of pants, bam, you're in as an NPC. Because it goes with everything. Once you get your black and you want to get another pair of trousers, go with brown or another neutral color. Don't get anything fancy right at the beginning. Okay. Now we talk about tops or shirts. Now I'm going to focus on men because I happen to be a man. And, and so when I generally buy LARP things for myself, it is generally man-ish. So you have two choices, really. And it depends on what kind of time frame you want to go with. You can go with a simple tunic, or you can go with a shirt. You know, they make a lot of Ren shirts out there that are puffy-sleeved, and or pirate shirts, if you will. Uh, this kind of lace-up collar, uh, button sleeve, 
and that's fine. That works very well. It looks good. If you want to get a little more historic and you want to be a specific time period, I highly recommend you go to some place like, I don't know, uh, Historic Enterprises, for example, makes a very nice 15th century shirt. They also make a slightly different 16th century shirt, and then they go back and they make the earlier stuff, too. Um, and once you start researching costuming, you'll see where the break from tunic to shirts come in. And it's right around the 14th, later 14th, early 15th century. When you start moving away from um, the tunic being the main form of dress to the doublet being the main form of dress, and then you have a shirt underneath it, the shirt modified from the under tunic. Long story short. So, black pair of pants, number one, right? A shirt of some kind. I suggest you go with a white one to begin with. Now, a lot of NPCs go with black, like a black t-shirt, black jeans, black tennis shoes. God help me. That is not an NPC. A black pair of nice pants, LARPing pants, and a white shirt, or a beige shirt, or a neutral color shirt will serve any purpose. You can play any character with that. Don't put a goddamn tabard on. Do a little bit of creative costuming and work from there. Okay? So, you've got your two things. Now you go with your shoes. The shoes is very difficult because you need to have comfortable shoes that need to fit well and they need to be comfortable. You're going to be on your feet most of the day. Trust me. Thorne spends all day on his feet. Unless you have comfortable shoes, you're going to be absolutely miserable. And the odds are, if you're doing an overnighter and you're playing the next day, if you've got a pair of crappy shoes, you're not going to be able to walk the next day. So, get something that's comfortable. Um, an ankle boot of some kind. Lower ankle boots, or you can wear a combat boot with an with 8 to 10 inch upper. So, you know, lace up upper. Because these can be worn tucked into the pants, or they can the pants can be worn over the top of them. You can dress them a little bit, um, and they look pretty good. Go with a black, go maybe a brown. Don't get anything heels because you're gonna be you need comfort. And this goes for men and women. So you've got your shirt, you've got your trousers, you've got a pair of shoes, and you know what? There's your basics right there. Bam, you're done. So let's take a look at what that really looks like. Okay. So starting from zero, I show up at the event, my boots, my blue jeans, and my hoodie. So let's take a look at our three basics, our shoes, pants, and shirt. We'll start with that. And here we go. Here we got your basic costume. We got boots, ankle boots, black pants, white shirt. I've added the belt to just kind of show you how it looks. You can add to this once you get your basics done. Pants. Epic Armory. Boots are actually Walmart. They're about $35. They do have a steel toe. I like a steel toe, just so I don't hurt my back. Shirt is actually Historic Enterprises, and they run about $30, $35. And the brand we've touched upon, this is Kelty Croft. It runs about $40. So your basic costume, we could go on with a black shirt for NPC, but this will work for NPC as well. Once you have your basics done, you can build on that, and it looks this, you could be anybody. If you're an NPC, this is good enough to be any kind of person other than a non-human. You could be a tavern keeper. You could be a store owner. Or a store owner. You could be anybody that you would normally meet. And this works. Very basic. Now let's see what it looks like when we add some pieces. To just some minor additions. Your basic of shoes, pants and shirt is transformed. Very simple vest. I have leg wraps just to change the look of the feet and a change in hat and it's totally different. If you want to dress it up a little bit more, add a dagger and you're good. If you can get the dagger on. This does work. And that's it. You're good. You look like a renaissance. But you can dress this up even more. Let's take a look at the next one. So here we have it in its third iteration. We've changed the shoes out to low boots out to low shoes because we're actually looking like a gentleman. So we've got low sneakers, but in black. We've got kilt hose, 
in a nice color. And it could be any color. It could be white, off-white, green, yellow, what have you. Depends on your personality. We still have the same black pants underneath the kilt hose, but now they have the look of breeches. We have our white shirt underneath kind of a fancy doublet. We still have our belt. We've added the dagger. Now this is real steel. This is not a LARP dagger, but you could easily put a LARP dagger in here with no problems. And we got our belt pouch. So our basic costume has built this with very minor additions. And you know what? This looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. Now, let's say you were going into town. This gentleman could be anybody. Upper middle class, lower nobility. Very easily. So let's add a couple more pieces and see where we go. And now we have our last iteration of our Elizabethan gentleman. Starting with our black pants, white shirt, black shoes, minor changes. This is what we had. These pants have worked for basic NPC, normal first level player characters, and we've aggressed, or progressed through various iterations up to a fairly well-attuned gentleman. We have our cloak. It's a half-circle cloak with some additions, but it's very period. We have our fancy doublet. Now, you don't have to go with a fancy doublet. This one's my, my more dressy one, but it looks very in period with the character. We have our baldric and our rapier. This is the uh, this is the Kalamazil. This is a beautiful weapon, absolutely gorgeous with this fighting outfit. We have our belt pouch, which is still the same. We have our dagger. This is your medieval costume, early Renaissance dress. What do you think? How now? A Capulet. We'll catch you guys later. All right. That wasn't very difficult, was it? No, not at all. So we started off with our three basic things that you need. Started off with a decent pair of comfortable shoes, a pair of black trousers, and a white shirt. And we built from those three basic things a Elizabethan Shakespearean gentleman with only some minor additions to those three. Now, if you're doing earlier time period, let's say we're going back to our Norse, because that's really what Thorne does. We'll touch upon that in a separate video. But I wanted to touch upon the three things that you need as to start with. Build your basic costuming. Let's say you're going to Bicoline and you want to have decent trousers to fight in. These black trousers would have worked for that. They would work for town dress. They would work for anything. The white shirt works for anything. Good shoes, fighting shoes, go to town shoes. They work for anything. It's a great start to building your costuming. So, what did you think? Did that look all right? Was it cost effective? There are better ways to do it. The Epic Armory pants could easily be changed out with black um, surgical trousers or any kind of surgical trousers, drawstring trousers. Um, you can get some really good um, uh, martial arts, Eastern martial arts trousers that work perfect for what we're doing. The white shirt, Ren shirts online cost about $20, $25. They come in multiple colors. Uh, I've got, I don't know, three or four different colors that I'll swap out when needed. Good shoes. Uh, the Walmart shoes that I was using are called Brahmas. Um, they are an ankle boot to provide that good ankle support. They've got a steel toe. They've got a little bit of a heel. They're very comfortable. I'll slip some insoles into them. I wear them all day. Those are also my motorcycle riding shoes. When, when, uh, when I'm worried about my feet, I take care of them. So what did you think about this one? The addition of the doublet. The addition of the cloak, the addition of various hats changes the entire look of your basic costume. And that's really what we're working for. I hope you guys have a good day. 
because um, it's only about 40 degrees here. I can't get the bike out. I'm a little bit of a, well, a little bit of a wuss when it comes to riding in the cold. So I'm going to get out. I got some wood to chop. I got some stuff to do. I got some sewing to do. I got some painting to do. You guys have a great day, and we'll see you soon.